It might look like I'm simply trying to complete a daily challenge in Red Dead Online, but actually I'm showing one of 10 biggest mistakes that cost players gold in this game. And money, but mostly gold. Anyway, this first mistake is completing daily challenges, awards, or simply gathering materials that you need for crafting when you are not in a mission. You see, in most missions in Red Dead Online, your payout is based on the amount of time you've spent on this mission. The more time you spend, the more money goes golden experience you will receive. It makes no sense, but it's how it works. Anyway, because of this weird payout structure, quite often you will have to wait some time before completing the mission to receive higher payout. So instead of just staying AFK and waiting, why not do something useful, complete daily challenge or gather materials? Remember, you are getting paid for the time you will spend on it. So let's say you have a daily challenge to collect some herbs or kill birds. Instead of doing it in a free roam for free, just go to a blood money mission or telegram mission or legendary bounty mission and complete these daily challenges before completing the mission itself. You also can collect ingredients for crafting golden food. Or for example, remember that easy award for killing fish with dynamite. Instead of completing it in a free roam, just go to Tobin Winfield legendary bounty and complete it there before doing the mission itself. You can even purchase dynamite right there. Just remember that most blood money or infamous bounty missions have a timer, sometimes invisible, so you don't have unlimited time. In Legendary Bounty or Telegram missions, you can spend as much time as you want, but remember that maximum payout is for 30 minutes in a mission. It's not gonna increase after that mark. And by the way, if you want to receive best payouts for missions in Red Dead Online, always use your own timer. Not knowing how much time exactly you've spent on a mission is a second mistake that will cost you a lot of gold. Thank you. It's because amount of gold that you will receive for completing a mission usually changes only every 3 minutes. You can see payout structure on your screen now and it's obvious that you don't want to complete missions in let's say 8 minutes and 55 seconds because if you will wait for 5 more seconds you will earn 50% more gold. So you always need to know how much time exactly you've spent on a mission. But the problem is, timer is not always visible so you need to use your own timer and start it right after loading screen or cutscene when you gain control of your character and see the task that you need to do. By the way, sometimes there will be some cutscene inside of a mission and you need to know that timer stops for the time of this cutscene. Anyway, the optimal time to spend on most missions in Red Dead Online is 9 or 12 minutes. This way you will earn maximum amount of gold, money and experience per minute. Next mistake that a lot of beginners are making is not taking free 10 gold bars from Roxar at the beginning of their Red Dead Online's journey. It's a really old promotion, but for some reason it still works. For setting up two-step verification on your social club account, you will get some money in GTA Online and 10 gold bars in Red Dead Online. Not immediately, because it can take up to 72 hours to receive any bonus or award in Red Dead Online, but I repeat, surprisingly this bonus still works and you will receive your 10 gold bars, which will be extremely helpful on the lowest levels, because you will buy your first roll much faster. Next mistake is ignoring monthly bonuses and discounts. Every month Rockstar adds different bonuses and discounts to Red Dead Online, and quite often they include double or even triple payouts for different activities. To find out about these bonuses and discounts, simply open menu and choose benefits. Also you can find this information on official Rockstar's website. Anyway, if you want to earn as much money and gold as possible in Red Dead Online, you want to focus on activities that offer double or triple payouts. And also keep an eye on discounts for rolls, which will help you to save a lot of gold, and discounts for other important items. And yes, I also need to mention that buying anything few days before the monthly event ends without discount would be a mistake usually, because it's quite possible that you will buy something, will spend a lot of money or gold and few days later will regret it, because there will be some significant discount on an item that you just purchased. Next mistake that even a lot of high levels are making is not resetting awards immediately when you complete them and forgetting about these awards. There are multiple different awards in Red Dead Online and some of them can be reset up to 10 times, and each time you reset such award you receive 0.4 gold bars. I'm pretty sure that if you were playing Red Dead Online 
online for some time without paying attention to awards. Right now you can open menu, choose progress, then choose awards, check different categories, especially sharpshooter, combat and stuff like that. And in these categories you will find at least few awards that you can reset right now and earn some extra gold bars. It also would be a good idea to pin awards that you almost completed because it will be easier to check your progress on them. By the way, I need to mention one unique award that is available on level 30 in a bounty hunter role. You need to purchase prestigious bounty hunter license to reach level 30. Anyway, this award you can trade in after earning 10,000 experience points in a bounty hunter role. And after trading in, you will receive 0.5 gold bars plus $100. But the most importantly, you can trade in this award unlimited amount of times. Next mistake is pretty expensive. It could cost you 42 gold bars and it's purchasing Black Arabian Horse. I mean, it would not be a mistake if you like how Black Arabian looks and that's why I decide to buy it. But many players think that Black Arabian is the best horse in Red Dead Online and that's why they are spending 42 gold bars on it. But in reality, there is a very little difference between horses and Red Dead Online, especially between expensive horses. So Turkoman or Missouri Fox Trotter or even Mustang for $500 will not be worse than Black Arabian. I mean, if you use good saddle and best stirrups on practice, you will see almost no difference between something cheap like Shire and Black Arabian. And yes, it has elite handling and good stats on paper, but I made multiple tests with different horses, including Black Arabian, and on practice, difference between cheap and expensive horses in Red Dead Online is almost unnoticeable. Next mistake is spending gold on some types of cosmetics, like weapon metals, haircuts or liveries for your bounty hunter wagon. And no, I'm not saying that spending money and gold on cosmetics is a mistake by itself, although a lot of players are spending way too much on it. But many players don't know that some cosmetic items, like golden weapons in Red Dead Online, you don't really buy forever. So let's say you will decide to make Lancaster Repeater fully golden. It will cost 30 gold bars, which is a lot. But then you will decide to try a different look and change metals. And the problem is, after you will change metal, you will not be able to go back to golden weapon for free. You will have to unlock gold again and pay 30 gold bars again. It works exactly the same for haircuts and liveries for your bounty hunter wagon. So think twice before spending gold and money on such things. Next mistake is using gold to purchase items that can be bought for dollars. Yes, there is such option and I know that some players are even using it. But exchange rate is just terrible. It will offer you to pay one gold bar instead of $25. And it's so much easier to earn $25 or even $100 in Red Dead Online than one gold bar. Especially on the higher levels when you will have some roles like trader, moonshiner or collector. So even if you don't have money yet, do not spend your gold on buying items. Rather purchase collector roll, grind it and you will have more money that you can ever spend. Next big mistake is spending gold on purchasing honor change or capitale. You can buy capitale at fence but it's absolutely pointless because you can only use it to start so called blood money opportunity missions. And they have payout similar to legendary bounty missions so you're not gonna earn that gold back. And as for honor change you can visit old man Jones, he has such icon on the map, and for 3 gold bars change your honor from honorable to dishonorable and vice versa. But again it's gonna be pointless because honor means nothing in Red Dead Online. The only difference between maximum and minimum honor is which missions will be available to you in the second part of Land of Opportunities storyline. And by the way, if you care about that, you can easily change your honor level. You can decrease it extremely fast by killing sedated animals and increase it by simply feeding your horse. And the last mistake that most players definitely regret is purchasing pamphlets from Harriet. All pamphlets that she sells are definitely a waste of money, but animal transformation pamphlets that you can purchase with gold are the worst. In theory it sounds cool, but on practice after you will purchase such pamphlet and collect Harrietum officinalis, when you will try to make a transformation in a public lobby, it will just fail. And you will go back to a human form in just a few seconds. Yes, this mechanic was broken for years and Rockstar just don't care. But even when it works, it's not cool at all because you can stay in animal form only for like 5 minutes and area 
way you can be in animal form is extremely limited. So yeah, this purchase is just a pure waste of gold. And by the way, if you want to spend your money and gold on really useful, I would even say must-have items, go check the video that you can see on your screen now. It's 50 must-have purchases in Red Dead Online. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe, stay healthy, goodbye.